Hi everybody, welcome back! Today I would like to talk a little bit more about needles and different types of configurations and diameters. Here you can see all needles I would like to try today and show you the differences between them. Now I would like to teach you how you can read what's written on the cartridge. 30 or 0.30 means how thick is the needle. It's almost always in millimeters. Then there is one needle, so it means there is only one needle in a cartridge. RLLT means round liner, long taper. RL is arrangement of needles and LT it's some kind of taper. We can also find medium tapers, short tapers, ultra short tapers or extra long tapers. Maybe you didn't know, but Quadron has needles for permanent makeup, Quadron Optima and also for tattooing. Most of the time I really like to use this brown needle, but sometimes I also change for pinkish needle. 0.18 you can use it for outline and 0.25 or 0.30 you can use for shading. I also really like to use this kind of needles for outlining, I never change the needle. Here you can see that there is only one needle in a cartridge. Here there is three needles in a cartridge and there is seven needles in a cartridge. All three needles I would like to show you on latex. Let's test this cartridge first. Here you can see how one needle looks like in a cartridge. And now let's check it on the latex. When I am working on the latex, I am always very, very soft. Now I am using pendulum movement. Now I am using only movement towards myself. This is how one needle in a cartridge looks like. Here you can see three needles in a cartridge. And now I want to show it to you on latex. Here you can already see the difference. The dots, or we call it pixels, they look quite big. Here I am working only towards myself. You can see it's a quite a big difference between 1RL and 3RL. Now let's test the cartridge with 7 needles. And finally you can see 7 needles in a cartridge. I almost never use this needle, but I wanted to show it to you. Maybe you are wondering why I don't use 7RL needle. I don't really like to use this kind of needles because I prefer very precise work and in my opinion with 1RL I can do the best work. And now you can see it's really really visible that I'm working with more needles at the same time. My pixels are quite big and I don't really like such a big pixels in my work. So this is one of the reasons why I prefer 1RL needle. One more time. Here you can see how 1RL needle looks like. Pixel or dot is super super small. I really really like this. Here you can see that the pixel is a little bit bigger because we were working with a free RL needle. And here you can see that the pixel is quite big. Today I wanted to show you how you can read what's written on the cartridge. I also wanted to show you what's the difference between 1RL, 3RL and 7RL. 
In my opinion, you should try these needles and you can choose which one you prefer. It's really important that you feel most comfortable with the needle you choose. And because we all know that the practice is the best what we can do, I would like you to now work with me. Let's practice together. I would be so happy if you could send me some of your latex work. I will check it out and come back to you. Let's go. Next week you can look forward to a new video where I will show you step by step how I do powder brows on latex. See you! Bye!